Hi there, this is Kit. I'm here to review the iPad Pro 13 inch M4. It just came out, it's brand spanking new, and I'm here to review it with you. So, he is thin possible and more expensive than possible. I got my guy pretty sort of maxed out. Got the Pro pencil, I got the nano texture display, everything being 2K, almost 3K. Everything was as expected, except for the freaking smart portfolio. I'll talk about that later. iPad Pro. He came pretty standard. If you've ever had a pro before, then obviously you know what to expect. What was different this time around for me is that I got the nano texture display screen, which is brand new for them. Uh, this new screen in general is a tandem OLED with Ultra Retina XDR display. It has a thousand nits max SDR brightness laminated anti-reflective coating. The nano texture is only available on the one terabyte or two terabyte options. So I do have the two terabyte. And here you can see, you know, still takes USB-C. Nothing too crazy or too out of whack here comes with its charging as expected the cable is shorter i feel like than it has been in the past the pencil is new it is not backwards compatible but it does have some new gestures that come with it so first off i do want to say as a disclaimer for this review i am not a tech sufficionado okay i am just a professional artist Lots of people get the iPad as hobbyists or if they're pros. So um, I am just going to be like here showing the screen brightness with Duolingo comparatively. I just want to have a sort of review or first impressions out there for artists because all I keep seeing are these tech homies and it's just not relatable for me. It's not really information that I need exactly. And the nano texture display is something that I hear people are really worried about and I am too. I am considering possibly looking at that 14 day return policy because I am a little worried about the lessened contrast, the fact that you get less inky blacks and it's an OLED display um, that kind of takes away from the whole display upgrade. That being said, the pencil itself feels really nice on the screen. I'm not entirely sure how different it would feel in comparison to the standard display option, but it does feel really nice as per usual. It doesn't really uh, need the plastic nib like some people say i mean i'm sure it would be helpful but just know it's not any sort of concerns with this upgraded screen all that aside i'm really excited to see a brand new ipad pro it's been long awaited and again i know that people who aren't in the art space they see or hear about the ipad pro and they think ah it's just not a good macbook it's just the little guy. Why get him and not a MacBook? Well, for artists, it's this really nice option for us. I honestly could care less about some of these uh, other features. Like I didn't get a keyboard. I'm not trying to type essays or write script on here. You know, I'm just trying to doodle. I'm just trying to draw for work. And for work, you can work professionally with the, hi doggy. You can work professionally with this. And I think that's incredible, especially when you have uh, other tablets like the Wacom. Oh my God, she is barking. Like you have the Wacom Cintiq, which I still have. And you'll see comparison later in the video with that but it's a excellent option the procreate app being ten dollars the dogs are popping off <laughs> it's really nice and you the little tilt of the pencil that you can do you can't do that on other tablets yet and i think that's really incredible the ipad pro is just such a viable wonderful option for artists it just makes sense for us so again i hope that this video can be helpful if you are an artist an illustrator any sort who you might maybe you'll be using this to draw on ah sorry here's the part that i'm so mad at the freaking folio case i hate this thing first of all it took me a second to 
figure out how exactly it's supposed to go. I had an Amazon case that worked so much nicer than this. And this is $99 and it's bouncing like this. It's not stable. It's like not meant for us, for artists. So I'm absolutely returning that. Here's some comparison. You can see the edge of the glass with the nanotexture display, how the ring light sort of just disappears on the screen that's really nice actually and something that is of note procreate as of me making this video hasn't updated the new gesture controls that are on the new apple pencil so there is a new squeeze where it will be able to bring up you know a color menu tools menu all sorts of other things that's just a really neat you know tool for you Procreate just hasn't gotten it yet. I'm really hoping they update that soon so I can maybe update, um, you know, my thoughts on maybe the workflow for the iPad Pro Procreate combo. Um, again, here's another screen, just another one of the sample arts that they have on Procreate. I think that there is a lot of contrast. The colors are very vibrant, of course, compared to the standard, more glossy OLED traditional display. It will be just more contrast, more inky. But here's a comparison between my Wacom Cintiq 22 brightness as well as anti-glare. And here it is with my Alienware OLED. Um, and that's pretty much it. This thing has only been out for a day. This is first impressions, really. I'm not entirely sure how deep of a review I can give other than the nano texture display. I kind of like it. I might be returning it just for the sake of, oh, is it greener on the other side? Is this the better option? What is, what isn't? That sort of thing. There is a lot of debate popping online about it so it is something i'm considering but because i am an artist and screen glare is a concern that is something that you know of note is why i got the nano texture display to begin with at least it's something to try out i believe it's a hundred dollar upgrade in comparison to the standard which that is quite a price jump i have seen people online give a little tip of, oh, just get the standard display and maybe get a matte screen cover, which yeah, that makes sense. But other than that, I'm absolutely returning the folio case. It's not really great for artists. A, um, it's not very adjustable compared to some that I've seen on Amazon. It doesn't really offer much protection. You kind of just rely on the uh, magnet to hold your iPad in place from falling down, which I don't trust that. I don't find that reliable. So I'm definitely going to be getting something that's sort of like an OtterBox type case where if my iPad were to drop, it won't shatter to a million pieces. Um, so yeah, I hope that this uh, video can be helpful for anyone here. I will absolutely be making more updates on the iPad Pro, whether if that's here on YouTube or on my Instagram. So please check out my links in the bio consider subscribing or liking commenting on this video to help with the algorithm as i am a itty bitty little channel and would really appreciate it and yeah i hope you have a great day see ya folks